Hey. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Look at you in the hair. Loving the longer hair. Are we calling this the COVID hair? Have you been growing it out? Is that what everyone's calling it? Everyone keeps asking me if this is my COVID hair. <laughs> I guess that's what it is. I don't know what else it would be. You have the best hair, don't you? My dad has really great hair. He's in his 50s and he has super long, uh, strong hair. So I'm, I'm hoping I, I have it from his side. What are your plans <laughs> for holidays? I'm going home in five days. I'm going back to Pickering, Ontario. I got a puppy. I got a puppy. He's 10 weeks old. He's a golden, oh. uh, he's a golden retriever. And um, Camila and I are going back to Canada. And we're just going to quarantine with my parents and my sister and spend Christmas together. You have lots of exciting things going on new Netflix documentary, new album. One of the things that I think the fans and we all love from the documentary is obviously seeing you and Camilla together because we all love knowing a little bit more about the love you have for each other and your relationship. So I, I love the fact that you found this love and happiness together and you speak Thank you. so beautifully about her in the documentary and just about you know writing the songs and how your relationship is so special T tell me more about that yeah camila was always i knew her since i was really young and we were friends and we kept in touch she always seemed to have this other layer of care for me that i didn't find in anyone else really and um there's a part of camila that like you would never know that i get to see every day which is this super special candid part and that's what i talk about it in the film where i say it's like you try to take a photo of the of the moon or the stars with your iphone and you look at your phone and it just it doesn't do it justice and i think that it's because you're not supposed to take photos of it you're supposed to just look at it and you're supposed to just experience it and that's how i feel about my relationship with her and so i get to kind of have that selfishly does it help like <laughs> being together and sharing that fame together and just Oh Does yeah. It all going through it together. Absolutely. It's it's like it's like sometimes you feel like an alien as a famous person and um having someone who's experienced the same thing to be able to vent about is is beautiful. It's so helpful. Can we speak about your amazing collaboration with Bieber? Justin Bieber tell sure. me about that, Sean and <laughs> how that came about. <clears throat> I mean yeah, I'll always. I mean, I've, I've, I mean, he was one of the beginning reasons as to why I started singing in the first place. And I reached out to him and we started talking and we got on FaceTime and we kind of had a great conversation one day and kept up in, in touch. And then I sent him a song that I actually wrote three years ago. And um, it was about how society puts pressure on celebrities and society puts pressure on everyone. And he really immediately gravitated towards it. And now we have a friendship that we, that didn't exist before. And uh, it's it's just been really nice. He's he's incredibly incredibly gracious and kind. Let's talk about let's talk about the album Wonder, which is amazing. I've been listening. I love it. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. How excited are you to to get it out there and for everybody to listen, especially your fans that have been waiting. Yeah, I mean tonight at midnight it will be the first time everyone's hearing it for the first time. So it's it's really kind of a weird thing to think about but i am excited i really love this music it feels like music that when i was 16 i would have heard and been like i want to make that someday thank you for watching if you want more extra hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video